Well, good morning. Um, I want to thank Pastor Jason for the opportunity to uh, just talk with you for a few minutes this morning. Again, my name is Vicki Thompson, and I am the missions coordinator here at Hope Church. And uh, today, I'd like to just share with you an update about one of our missions partner. Um, it's one of our international partners, and in fact, um, unfortunately for you online, you don't need to get to meet her today. She's in service. Um, she does ministry in a Latin American country. And just because of the sensitivity of her ministry and for the safety of her small team, um, I'm not going to, to mention the country in which she serves. But she has a, a ministry that God has called her to, to minister directly to women who are in human trafficking. And I know that sometimes we tend to think that uh, women in that situation are there of their own doing. But the fact is, each one of the women that she ministers to has their own story. And it's always a story of desperation. Many of them, because of their desperate situation, have turned um, to this on their own. Others are trafficked um, and have been trafficked since the time they were children um, by their own families or sometimes by their own husband. And so these women are in desperate situations. And so this ministry reaches out to these women and shares the love of Jesus Christ with them. And they minister to them weekly, um, helping them with provisions um, for food and for other physical needs. And about two years ago, the Lord moved on the heart of this ministry lead, and she felt led of the Lord to build a safe house. And this safe house is for the purpose of women who are coming out of human trafficking, that they can go there, they can be in a safe environment, they can be removed from their situation, they can learn what it's like to be loved by Jesus and his people. They learn what it's like to be a follower of Jesus Christ. They have the opportunity to experience inner healing. And they also have the opportunity to learn a new skill. And so uh, about a year and a half ago, we partnered with this mission organization to help get the, this house, this safe house, started. And it has progressed, but they are still not to the point of opening the house. It's made great progress in the construction, and now they're working on the inner part of the home. Um, they need funds to build cabinetry and the kitchen appliances, um, and, and then help with some, some furnishings. And so we know and we trust that all of this is according to God's timing, according to his provision. And I can't help but think of Noah who, who, who sawed and he hammered every day. And, um, and then one day he saw the fruition of his work. And so we are seeing the fruition of the work of the ministry and the lives of women who are being changed. But we also want to be able to provide this safe house um, so women have a protected area to where they can grow in their relationship with Jesus. And so I'm asking you today, if you would consider to give, to give generously. The scripture tells us that the Lord loves a cheerful giver not that we should give begrudgingly um, or out of compulsion, but we should give according to our heart. And so I'm asking you to consider giving to this ministry partner. And um, I just can't help but think about the beauty of how um, the scripture today comes together with the fact that there are many people all over the world who are doing ministry, and they do it in the name of one Father, in the name of one Jesus, and the name of one family of God through the Holy Spirit. It's one scripture, it's one gospel, 
And so I ask that you would just continue to pray for this ministry, for this small group of women who are ministering to other women in desperate situations, and that you would give. I'd like to um, let you know that anything that you give online through July 8th that is designated for missions will go directly to this Latin American mission.